Charlie Van here at the 2013 Dallas International Film Festival. It is open at night, red carpet here at Look Cinema. Got various films here today, uh, one from local Dallas filmmakers called Cry. Also, we have Java Heat starring Kellen Lutz and Mickey Rourke. Now, uh, what are you excited to see as far as the selections this year? Well, we're excited tonight. We're doing Java Heat and some friends of ours did Java Heat. It's an Indonesian action film. Um, very excited about 42. It's the movie about Jackie Robinson's life. We're have, gonna have his daughter here. Now, opening night is here at a new theater. Brand uh, new Luke theater. Cinema. Uh, why this particular location? Um, well, Look Cinema is brand new. We thought we would try something new. The owner is a friend and approached us, and he has a love for film, and we do. And we just thought it was a good, good marriage, and you know, a good place to uh, kick everything off. What do you think of all the selections this year? I couldn't be prouder of what our programming team has come up with. There's uh, 170 movies roughly, and, and I want to see every single one of them. I, I haven't come close to seeing them all yet, but hopefully I will. What are some ones you think some of the fans are going to really enjoy? Um, the five movies we're showing tonight are actually going to be great. Our centerpiece movies of Decoding Annie Parker and Sweetwater and 42 are just wonderful. Uh, our documentary films, every single one I've seen so far, are beyond all boundaries. Uh, if, if I could memorize the list, I'd read them all to you, and they all they all need to be seen. Now, uh, how was it working on uh, Scary Movie Five? Really fun. Like I don't know how to say it. it was really fun. What was the funnest part about the, uh, being a part of this film? Just having fun with the cast and doing different scenes at a time. Uh, real quick, uh, what's your advice for uh, kids your age who are breaking into film into acting? Just do the best. How was it working on this film? Suspenseful, terrifying. No, it was um, it was it was so different to any other film that I'd ever shot before. We shot the movie in like Columbia, Missouri, um, and we shot the movie all night shoot. So it was you know six nights a week, eight p.m. to eight a.m. So the schedule was just bizarre. We see a lot of villains out there with different forms of masks. We have a lamb, we have a tiger, and we have a fox. Um, but I, I think the lamb mask is is the creepiest kind of in an unusual, cool way. Working alongside Kellen and Mickey Work, what was it yes. like to get to work with this cast? It was amazing. I mean, we were we were so lucky with the cast we got. Um, I mean, Kellen is, is such a like such a good guy and such an energetic um, such an energetic actor that just I mean he he's gonna make an, an amazing film star. Um, and for an action movie, you could not be any luckier than having this guy because he put himself out there every day, did his own stunts. He just he couldn't get enough. You know, he loves what he does, and that is what you dream of. You know, as a director. I'll tell you a really interesting story about Mickey Rourke. After he'd been on the set for a couple of days, he said, "You know, watching you and your son interact as producer and director, and the deference that you give to your son for his creative ideas, and the deference that he gives to you, and the relationship and respect you have." I realized that I just spent more time with the two of you than I ever spent with my own father. And we were like, whoa, that's really heavy stuff. But I think Mickey really just lit up on Connor. He really just formed a bond and a relationship literally within 24, 48 hours of being on set in Indonesia. And the two of them just really, really hit it off. And, and then of course, Connor and Kellen being the same age, and, uh, and Ario Bayu, who plays the Muslim detective, the Indonesian actor in the movie, you know, they were all kind of the same age, and the three of them were just like the, the three amigos. And so it was really, really good chemistry on the set. And uh, you know, for a producer, that's just a dream to have everybody getting along and yes. focusing on making a good movie. So, Kellen, here open night, premiere of your film, Java Heat. First of all, how was it working uh, with Mickey Rourke and both the Allens? It was very homey. Uh, getting Mickey to work with us, and I'd worked with him on Immortals, but we had never had any scenes together. So it was a tease to say I'd worked with, you know, a, a dream actor who I, I would, I, who I'd always want to work with. Um, so now after you know I'd read this with with Connor and you know, I fell in love with my character and the script itself. He asked me who I could see as as Malik, the antagonist, and I I just saw Mickey. Mickey is Malik, and I really wanted to work with him. So when I met with Mickey in New York, and, and just prayed that he would read the script again, and then he, he he accepted, and we got to shoot. The stars aligned, and I was actually finally get to work with someone who I looked up to, and you know, just really admired as an actor. And, it was just really, really great experience. Mickey's a legend, on and off camera. We had such a great time. Um, 
He has a Dirty unique game style game. where it's just effortless. Like he's very much Hello, just a, a stud of an actor, man. and I hope to work with him again someday. Now, finally, I got to ask you. I saw you're gonna be uh, Tarzan. Is that right? Good. Yeah, that comes out in October. How does it feel to be this legendary character? That's that's a dream come true, especially growing up in the Midwest, where that's all I imagined with my my animals. I was a Mowgli or I was Tarzan. Are we gonna get to see the famous roar? Oh uh, yeah. You know it.